Ladies and gentlemen, Rex Bear League Project, how the heck are you? This podcast is brought to you by Virtual Shield, the ultimate VPN network that was designed from the ground up to help protect your information and your data from big data spies. If you like to visit the web anonymously, if you like to have uncensored information available to you from major search engines, I would definitely look into Virtual Shield. They're offering a free 30-day trial right now. It's less than five bucks a month with a discount that's connected with Leak Project. If you use the code Leak Project, you'll get a 20% discount. Check it out, Virtual Shield. Click the link in the video description box. That is my shameless plug. All right. Did I say that fast enough? Let's move in to the good stuff. The JFK Assassination Records Project. I have more information as to why the information isn't available in full today. Now, we were told 25 years ago that by midnight tonight, we would have access to all of these assassination files. There was a bill. Now, check this out. This is where it gets interesting. President Bush Sr. signed this bill 25 years ago, 25 years ago, which, according to the act, all records previously withheld, either in part or in full, should be released on the 26th of October 2017, unless authorized for further withholding by the President of the United States. The 2017 date derives directly from the law that states each assassination record shall be publicly disclosed in full and available in the collection no later than the date that is 25 years after the date of the enactment of this act, unless the president certifies as required by this act that continued postponement is made necessary by an identifiable harm or military defense, intelligence, operations, law enforcement, or conduct of foreign relations, and the identifiable harm is of such gravity that it outweighs the public interest in disclosure. Now, this act was signed by President Bush. Hmm, interesting. President Bush Sr., October 26, 1992. So the final, the final release date is October 26, 2017. Now, that's today. Now, at first, President Trump, yes, we're going to release all the information. We're going to let it all out. And now we're only going to have access to 2,800 files, and that's by midnight tonight. We haven't even gotten those yet. So what happened? If he has the authority to hand this information over, and I'm saying this in the utmost respect, then why not? Why is, what just made you realize that there's more danger to national security today than yesterday or the week before or a week before that? Did, was there new information presented that made you realize you can't release all these files today, not a week ago or a month ago? Or was there a, uh, is, is there a faction within the system that is above the administration that decides, ha has there been some type of threat? Well, I mean, I don't know. I'm certainly asking questions, and shouldn't you? Or maybe you shouldn't ask questions. Maybe you think it's bad to ask questions. Remember this? Remember this? Remember these guys? Do you remember when President Sr., Bush Sr., was adjusting his collar? Some people thought that he was actually doing a specific hand gesture more than just adjusting his collar. What do you think? Well, I mean, it doesn't really matter what I think. Perception is your reality. So what is the reality? Who is stopping this release? And isn't it interesting that President Bush, 25 years ago, and a lot of people think that President Bush Sr. has ties to the JFK assassination. A lot of conspiracy theorists. A lot of conspiracy theorists. Well, would it be more likely conspiracy theorists know more oftentimes than the public lets them on to believe? It just seems interesting. 25 years ago, so it's like, okay, I'm, a bill could be passed, so none of that information that could link you to something for 25 years. And have you seen him recently? I saw a picture of him. President Bush, his son, Bill Clinton, President Bill Clinton, and President Obama with Lady Gaga behind them. She almost looked like their handler. And President Bush Sr. is in a wheelchair. 
He looks like he's got some type of ankle support mechanism on each ankle. They look extremely swollen. So, did he think when he signed at 25 years ago, where am I going with that? Did he think 25 years ago that he wasn't going to be around at this time? So, by releasing those records in 25 years, he thought he'd be gone anyway. I don't know. I'm just asking questions. I'm a conspiracy theorist. Grandma! Where's my sandwich? Can I have some cookies too, please? She makes the best cookies. They're so good. And her sandwiches are amazing. I think that if she could find a way to drone those cookies and sandwiches over to North Korea and drop them off to the soldiers, I think that we might be able to create a coup in North Korea that could overtake Kim Jong-un and do it in a much more peaceful manner than blowing the entire country up with nuclear weapons. I mean, it's just, just a thought. I mean, sandwiches and cookies are good for people that are starving and for anybody that just likes cookies and good sandwiches, right? Especially when grandma's making them. But I don't know, you guys. I mean, it's very interesting when you, when you read that this bill was signed 25 years ago by President Bush. And now it's like, okay, well, we're going to release most of the files, but not all of them. So did, is there like some, was there something behind the scenes where, I don't know, did, did Bush Sr. say, hey, Trump, you need to wait a little bit longer before you release the rest of those files, okay? And here's what's in it for you, and here's what's in it for me. Give a little, get a little, give a little, give a little, give a little, get a little, get a little, give a little. What do you think? Is it wrong to question this 25-year time stamp? Does that make me evil? One million dollars. Question everything. Be excellent to each other. Virtual Shield. Click the link. Video description box. 20% discount. Free trial. The best VPN for uncensored news. You can see also, do you see that red shield that I've got there in the top right corner? That means that I am protected. My information is protected online from every single website that I visit and big data spies. There you go. Less than five bucks a month. Be the change you want to see.